When he goes to bed, Tucker's body starts sweating profusely and experiences an intense cellular condensation on the face, as if something has taken over him. Meanwhile Tucker's ex-wife Carol hears her son Oliver screaming because of a nightmare. She immediately rushes to his room to wake him up and stays with him to comfort him for the rest of the night. The next morning, Carol gets a call from Tucker asking to see his son, which is not normal for him. Carol says no and hangs up. Afterward, Carol drops Oliver at school and goes to her office, where she works as a psychiatrist. On her way there, she runs into her best friend Ben, who offers to give her a ride. Ben is a doctor, and he shares with Carol the fact that the government is hiding something serious from them, as all the researchers on the crash site have resigned. Carol is in no mood for politics and complains about Tucker instead, commenting on how he has been acting very strange lately and how he suddenly wants to see their son after being away for four years. As soon as she makes it to her office, Carol sees her first patient Wendy, who shares that her husband has been acting very weird lately.